Hello and welcome to Let's Play Europa Universalist 3 Divine Wind with your host Shenra, apparently playing as Bihari Hindustan. Last time we had our second fight with the Ming and we we kicked the crap out of them again and made them spit out Wu. So now we have both Xia and Wu independent from Ming. The next real goal we have with the Ming is to spit out Qin, which will free up all of this land. And I guess Tibet, which will free up these over here. But uh, the current task at hand is to recover our territory from Shan. We gained a random core here in King Tung in the last video, and now it's time to march on in and reconquest Causes Belly and get that core. Now the question is, will Ming and Xia join? Because if they do, they'll take a minus five stability hit for breaking our truce. So I don't think they'll join. I think they're too pussy. But Luang, or what's it called? Long Zong right here may join, since they're allied with them. Let's see. Long Zong join. Ming dishonored. Xia honored. Oh. So Xia took a big stability hit just to fight us. Wait, plus two. We had a truce. Ah, lame. Whatever. I guess I have to fight Shia as well. I will deal with it. Oh, that's right. We tried to get peace with the uh, Mongo Khanate, but they wouldn't let us, so we're just invading for a little bit. Actually, we have peace now? Well, no diplomats. Whatever. Boundary dispute. We gain a core on Mutsu. Where the hell is Mutsu? Oh. Wow, Japan looks all screwed up. Okay, so we now have a core on Mutsu. That could pro that could pose a problem since we are allied with Japan. But whatever, I'm not going to worry about it right now. A conquest on Taira. Oh, we landed in Tanatuba. Good, good, good. Um, oh, you can't siege. Okay, then just sit there. trying to run, so now I switch in a speedy leader, and now you can't run. Oh, he's still going to get out. Damn it. Whatever. National Bank is doing poorly. How could it possibly be doing poorly? We're making 780 a year. Lose to cots or gain inflation. Yeah, I'll lose the money. Fortress under siege. Gain a core province. Unknown country, blah blah blah. Don't care. Random crap. Sieging. You guys should have that. You should have that. And you should have that. Alright, you guys landed. Siege. Got it. She refuses. Don't care. You guys want peace already. But I've got some infamy to work with, so I may just take both of these. That may be eight infamy. If that's eight, then I'll work out some other kind of deal. Oh, I have a colonist to spend. Oh, damn it. Where can I spend my colonist? Poor Shia. They don't know what they're getting into. And you guys are not a sieging army, so you come into Shia land. Go kick some ass. Oh, it's a level 2 and it's not a sieging army. I'm an idiot. <clears throat>
Okay, so I could get whatever I want out of these guys, but I don't have any cores over here or anything. I don't have any diplomats either, so just go siege. Actually, can we get peace with these guys? I want that, since that's no infamy. What would it be to annex? Cannot annex, because I don't own all of it. All I want to see what it would be to annex. And I have a diplomat now, so what can I get with you guys? I don't want the infamy. So, um... Free Lan Na. Revoke your cores. No, don't, don't free Lan Na. Wait. Don't free Lan Na. Revoke your cores. Get rid of your deals. And I don't want to vassalize you. There. You go start sieging. Yay, you're out of the war. Oh, I still don't have any diplomats, goddammit. Never have enough diplomats in this game. Whoa. That was quick. That's what she said. No diplomats. Um, I could colonize them. Eh, nothing, nothing else to do. I'm going to have to colonize all of this eventually anyway. Rabau. Cool. Oh, ho, ho, you guys got us territory from me. But I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Totally landed on your ass. I got 25,000 versus your 17,000. But, do I have a good shock general? Oh yeah, four shock general. You're dead. Oh my god, he lasted like four seconds. See you just... There's their capital. Yeah, go get that shit. Alright, we're about to land in Keng Tung. Siege that. Don't care, don't care. Alright, what can we get out of these guys? What would the annexing be? Eight infamy. See, I don't want the eight infamy. So, just give me that. And revoke your core. And blah, blah, blah. Done. You go here. So now I'm sitting on five infamy. I would be content getting maybe one territory here. Like, maybe I'll get Guillain. Which one's worth the most? Definitely Guillain, with its irony goodness. Give me your iron. Sounds kind of gay. Don't really need you, so go back to Ban Long. You guys, level 2. Eh, just siege it. I don't care. Wow, I can't believe you won that. Ooh, another idea. Ooh, idea time. I love ideas. Alright, we're getting our battlefield commissions. How's that working out? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I do like having, you know, four shock generals now and then. What else would be fun to have? Conscripts? Nah. Force limits might be good. Ecumenism. Ecu... Ecumenism? Ecumenism? And... Humanist tolerance would be fantastic. Oi, 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 oi. Or just more missionaries. I mean, as long as we're converting them, then who cares? Bill of Rights, National Revolt Risk. What's our revolt risk? Yeah, that might be nice. Yep, 
Revolt risk. I hate revolts so much. Sieging army, go siege. Oh, we want to siege up here. Yay. Now you guys are at war with Manchu? Yes, you are. Good for you. Hey, we found grain. That's nice. Killed some people somewhere. That's nice. We're almost done with the Shia. We have gained liberation causes belly on all countries that can release states. Is that from the national idea? It must, it must be. I can't think of anything that that would be from. Interesting. No infamy. And, oh wow, this, this is pretty much anyone in the world. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that means we never take stability hits for declaring war. Oh, that is gorgeous. All right, go back to Chittagong. You're done. Don't need that leader. That is an amazing option there. Jiangmen. Go back to Jiangmen. You don't need no leader. You don't need a leader. Hurry up and get there. Slow bastard. National decline. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Yay, we built stuff. Ooh, that means we have a colonist. Colonize there. And that means we have a bunch of magistrates. We build any level one forts? No. Build any trade buildings, road networks, trade depot, canal, canal, marketplace, bingo. Alright, now hurry up and get there so I can end this war. Yay, whatever, whatever, hurry up. Yay, some fur. And we totally sieged them. Can't annex them even though they only have five territories. One, two, three. We still can't annex them. Wow, what would be the cost of annexing them? 132%. Well, we can force religion and take Guan, Ging Jong, Ching Chong, Chi Chin Chong, whatever. And get rid of your alliances. They won't get rid of all of them. Get rid of, yeah, Korea and Japan. Okay. Thank you, and I'll take four infamy for that. Very cool. And all of your Mongol Khanate will pay a tribute. Or I could just colonize your asses. What's my... Uh, fine, I'll colonize you guys later. I'm not really interested right now. Go back to... I'll then no, go to Nurchinsky. Actually, go to Udinsky, U whatever. Too many territories. Alright, well, it was a quick and dirty war. We gained Kang Tung, which we already have a core on. And we gained Goyang, which is worth a hell of a lot of money. That's awesome. And if you can tell, I also renamed the Xinyuan Bana to Banana because it just it had to be done so uh, I will pause it here and come back when there is something cool to do hey guys welcome back the year is 1645 we've been uh, burning off infamy and screwing around with the Oirat horde we started colonizing some of their stuff uh, take a look at Europe here everything is just really Really, really weird. Foy is still big. Brittany's still around. Portugal and Castile haven't fought each other much. Uh, Venice took part of 
Aragon away. Venice is still gigantic. A couple years ago, Venice, Venice called a crusade against us. But since we're still at 189 relations and 196 and 192 and 193 and so on with everyone in Europe, no one's going to declare war on us. At least I don't think they will. Well, Bavaria might. I'll give Bavaria some money. Anyway, looks like there's a, a bit of a power shuffle going on here. If you look at the HRE, they've only passed one of their resolutions and they're only 10%. Uh, Everything's kind of up in the air. Poland's voted for themselves. Everyone else is just dicking around. They can't figure out who they want to be the HRE. But, you know, Poland's done pretty well as the HRE. They've uh, conquered some lands. They just annexed Transylvania last year. And uh, there is a war going on right now. If I can find the wars. Oh, well, there we go. Bingo. Holy Roman Reclamation of Pskov. So Poland is trying to get this territory which is fine is that even the HRE? no well whatever but uh the war bring is bringing them against Burgundy so this could be a real shift in Europe if that war goes on for a while that could shuffle things up in Europe pretty good anyway um we currently have a core in Chiang Rai doesn't expire for a long time, but we have a truce with these guys, so we can't go to war with them yet. But as soon as we're able to go to war with them, which is in February, then we'll be doing that. So, yep, yeah, yeah. chewing up Oyat Horde, fun times. They wouldn't accept peace right away, so I figured I should spank them a bit. Oh, well, Wurttemberg joined in the war. guys. Uh, Milan joined in the war. Wow, it's going to be a big war. It's like World War I, but it's in 1650. Colony self-sustaining. Halmahea. Ah, cool. Spread of discoveries. Wake Island. Except there is no freaking island there. God damn it. We just discovered Guam. We sent a colonist over there. I'm going to colonize some of Oirat Horde while we're doing this, but not all of it. I'll leave one territory alone. Fort finished. Cool. So we've got guys in position around. <laughs> we're just moving armies in. That's, gonna, that's not going to be fun for them. Yeah, I rejected peace. Of course we rejected peace. You guys are ready. Korea is allied with them, so I'm pretty sure Korea is going to join. So I'm going to ferry up one army from here, and we have another army already in Korea while it's being built. So we'll have three armies over here just to stick with them. And our infamy will be low enough. Maybe we'll take a little bit of Korea, or maybe we'll take two provinces instead of just Chiang Rai. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Got Altashar. Uh... Support limits around here are not great. Just go sit back in Magulistan, you'll be fine. Oh, colonist. Colonist! Uh, go here. I like that you uh, colonize twice as fast when you're colonizing the hordes. So normally it's a hundred colonists that get sent out to like an island or whatever. When you're doing hordes, you get 200 instead of 100. It's kind of cool. Alright, so the Oirat Horde is officially toast. And you guys, where can I fit 25,000 people? I should probably put them up here for Korea. Yep, alright, go sit over there. North Pacific Drift. Alright, there's nothing there. There's a lot of open water. That's cool. That's cool. Uh huh. Yeah, I thought having a, I thought having a crusade called against us would be like you know the end of the world, but 
nothing has happened, literally nothing. Our relations with Venice, the ones who called the crusade against us, dropped to like 50. So I've been paying them money to get it back up to 200 and nobody's done shit since then. So looks like Poland is kicking Palat's ass. Let me make sure, yep. Give them access, yeah. Nope, they refused it. Ooh, 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 we have a missionary. Missionary. All right, uh, where to go? Look at all these, these heathens and heretics. Um, yeah, I guess right there. We also colonized more of Africa. Africa. It's nice, we're getting 2.75 colonists a year. It's ridiculous. Gain a core province, cool. Learn about Eastern Pacific Drift. Any islands? No. Damn it. Aha, Polotz accepted peace with Poland. Pax will cede Piskov and Volhynia. We'll end the vacillation of Finland. End all treaties with Savoy. Release Ukraine and Tver. So Tver exists, and Ukraine exists, and you guys lost two territories to Poland. Alright. Now, does that mean the war is over with Burgundy? Let's find out. It is not. Interesting. We gained the liberation in... Okay. So somehow they're still at war even though they already reclaimed Pascal. Huh. Oh, they got Twer into the war. Oh, building forts. That's what I should do. More level one forts. And something production y. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, marketplace, bingo. And canal. Come on, February. Cool. Okay. Because, you know, the Cherokee and Croatia have a lot in common, so. Ukraine joined the war. It's a big war over there, jeez. Alright, here we go, February. Ooh, we discovered nor southern, northern California current. And there's nothing there. Alright, when's truce run out? Runs out 2nd of February, so one day. Alright. Slow down time a bit. Declare war. Reconquest. They're allied with Korea and Sean. Oh, poor Sean. Now, since they're allied with Korea, are we able to declare war on Korea separately? No. We don't have a liberation on them. What about Shan? Probably not. No. Okay. Who is Korea allied with? Because they may join. Longjong and Shia. So Shia may join. No liberation. Okay, you guys invade, invade, invade. And that's all she wrote. Korea honored the alliance, and Sean honored the alliance. Oh, goody. So Korea's leader to the war. You guys get on the boat. Should have done that earlier, but I'm an idiot. You guys go there. And you guys are going there. Oh, I forgot they're going to engage my navy with their stupid little... Korea? You are dicks. Putting that out there. Where is my four shock general? You, where are you? You're there. Don't need you there. Need you in Korea. I'm gonna leave on 13th of February and come on, 20th of February. So you're gonna get out. Damn it, then just stay there. Uh, I need to dock up all these damn ships. Stop patrolling, dock up. Stop patrolling, dock up. Stop patrolling, dock up. Korea, you are such dicks about this crap. 
hopefully I can get my fleet up here to block Korea's fleet before they send any more down here. We will see, huh? 10th fleet arrived in the Kurils. Oh, right. Of course. 9th fleet, yeah. Don't care. You guys are building shit. 6th of September, 8th of August. August. No, you're building boats. Nobody cares about boats. Boats. Go here. Get on the boat. Alright, we're land landed in Chiang Rai. We lost one of our ships. Oh no. Siege it. You guys haven't landed yet. Get on the boat. Okay, we're up there. Good. That's fine. Get on the boat. Okay, good. We're on the boat. Um, come here. Damn it. Select the damn boats. Go here. Go here quickly. Do not let them get out of Yangtze Delta. You need to dock up. You need a siege. Visayas, Huangzang, Vientan. Yeah. Great. Colonization failed in Guam. God damn you, Guam. Ooh, we discovered the Americas. Very nice. Is that in range? Hell no, it's not in range. My range sucks. You guys are slower than shit. Okay, we got Chiang Rai. Can we get you? We can't get you out of the war with that? Don't know. You're going to... Find your bay and lose on straight. You're going to lose on straight. You're going to try to slip past me. You're being total dicks. Stop patrolling. Dock up. Sigh. I hate doing this every time. And Korea's the only bastard who bought, who makes me do this. Because they're, they're, they're dicks. Okay. Is that enough? Is that enough for you, Korea? Can I get to Guangzhou Bay and engage you already? Now, did you, did you turn around? Because the AI is just amazing. Yeah, one of them turned away. Alright, can we sue for peace now? I want that, and I want you out of the war. Spit it- no. <laughs> we can't make them spit it out, because that's the land we want. Get rid of your alliances, and I don't want to vassalize them. Alright, now you go there. You, who did nothing, go here. You who also did nothing, go here. No, go here. We're not going to catch them, are we? There, two of them are going to Yangtze Delta. One of them is going to lose on straight. Maybe I should go here and see if that makes them turn around. Navy's under attack, Guangzhou Bay, violated sphere of influence against Korea. Okay then. We engaged them there. They sent only a couple ships, or one ship, and they're gonna have one of them's going to lose on. So we're gonna have to try to get there before they leave lose on. We better win this battle quickly. Alright, you're going to Sean, you're going there, we're going here. It's just Korea and Sean. Yeah, just Korea and Sean. Not a big problem. It's going to take forever to get there. That's okay. It's okay, bro. Cool, we won that quickly. Now we have to see if we can get here quickly. You're going to get 16th of March, and we're going to arrive 13th of March. Excellent! You guys are fucked. And you're running back home. I love it. Alright, I got Korea's army, or Korea's navy on the run. You guys are boned. Don't care. Akalea and Congo, don't care. You guys kicked ass. That's awesome. You guys are running back home to mommy, but too little, too late. I'm going to go siege your capital. I wonder what I should take out of Korea. Because my infamy is 2.5. I'll take two territories. That'll be my limit. Maybe these two. Whoa, these two? Oh, such a hard decision. What is worth anything? There's a good question. Ooh, iron. Grain, grain, 
grain, fish, chinaware, fish, fur, textile. Naval supplies, what a waste. Okay, I want the iron. I really want the iron. If I'm taking that, I need... something else. Oh, it only borders that. Uh, that. Oh, damn it, click the territory. I guess those two. I know they look really like a really weird connection, but uh, it effectively cuts Korea in half, and I really like that idea. <laughs> if I wanted just the money, I would definitely get the Chinaware. I could just do the, I could just do the Chinaware and the iron because I already connect. Yeah, yeah, I'll do the Chinaware and the iron. Those are the most profitable ones. All right. Well, I know what I want now. Now the question is, can I get it before my war exhaustion gets too high? Because every time it gets up words like six and seven, I just start freaking out with revolts. Where did their army go? Are they over here? Fleet arrived in Yellow Sea. Violated the sphere of influence. Lang Zhang, new ally in Shan. Interesting. Well, go siege their capital. I do not see their army anywhere. And they were here. They had like 20,000 guys. I don't know where they went. Alright, I guess I can come back out. Oh, I'm out for a couple days and there's already a freaking pirate. Really? I'll get out and start patrolling again. You, I guess you can't patrol yet. You... Where was my patrol? Oh, they killed my patrol. Those bastards killed my patrol. Can you believe that? They're bastards. Get out there. Get out there. Uh, get out there. Get out there. I think that was all the ones that I docked up. Hello, Ing or hello, Spain. What's up, Spain? Castile. Aragon collapsed. Interesting. Start patrolling there. Start patrolling up there, over there, over there, back here, back here, back here. Otherwise it goes like a loop around the island. I don't want that. You were the one that went down to Celebes. No, no, no. You went down this way to here, to here, to here, to here. Yeah. And you, I never stopped you because you were too far away to be bothered. Uh, you haven't made it yet. You made it. Okay, go here. This guy, well, I'll have to free him up. I guess I will split my navy in half. Oh, I can't do it while I'm unloading troops. Okay, unload troops. See of Japan. Start patrolling. Start patrolling. Alright, we landed in their capital. Siege that shit. 20,000 soldiers and 5,000 cannons. Gonna make short work of that. Oh, there's their army. Hello, 16,000 guys. You're gonna go... follow them as best possible. Let's see if we can stop them. They're gonna arrive on the 30th of April, so if I go this way, will that stop them? Yes. Excellent. Oh, Korea's Navy. Hello, Korea's Navy. Goodbye, Korea's Navy. Oh, we didn't capture any. Oh, well. Landed in Shan. Good. Siege it. Siege it. Let's 
siege it. Oh, hello. Remember me? <laughs> oh, 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 that's gotta hurt. That's our uh, level 23 tech army versus their level 13 tech army. Ooh, I love it. All right, you guys just sit there. Um, I don't really need you anymore. Just go back to Geola. And I guess the Korea doesn't have a navy anymore, so here, you get those pirates. Those nasty, nasty pirates. Did you really fail at sieging? Oh, it's a level two, no wonder. All right, well, you go siege. I don't know why I'm sieging with an attack army. Oh, well, whatever. I'm an idiot. What do you expect? Korea entered a military alliance with Long Zong. That's nice. Claims on our rivals. Ooh. Burgundy? A little confused by that one. Is that Africa? It is. So we gained a core over there. Okay, that is really weird. Why do they have events where you randomly gain cores on stuff you, that borders you? I mean, I'm not saying it's not cool. It's, it's nice. I like it. It's a little odd since I have a colony here that's only been here for a couple of years, and that's long enough time to get a core on something else over here. But since there's that event where you randomly get a core on someone else's land, why don't they have an event where you randomly get a core on something that's in your land? That'd be nice. You wouldn't have to wait 50 years, you know? Ah, oh, well, anyway. You guys chill, you guys keep moving. Ooh, there's a little bit of a navy there. I will force them out. Go sit there. Reconquest on Burgundy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infiltrator in Parliament. That's not possible. Two revolt risking games. I don't care if those guys get army tradition. Fuck. Ooh, you guys have an army. Good for you. Wait, I don't have to conquer everything. Let me just go here, because I want that territory and that territory. So I'll just conquer that and the war will be over. Korea. Always getting the short end of the stick. Alright, the pirates are done. Then you guys should come over here. You have to pick up this army. Keep going back to patrols. You guys don't really need the siege anymore, so go back to Yudinsky. You guys go all the way back to Quarism. And... Yeah. Yep. 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 Alright, we landed in Haikshi. Kill it. This thing siege is so fast. Alright, I want that and that. Eight Infamy, no problem. Uh, get rid of your alliance with Japan. Oh wait, I can convert you to... <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can force conversion on these guys. That's actually kind of tempting. What's my war exhaustion? 3.5. You know what? I am going to force these guys to convert because then when I conquer their lands next time, I won't have to convert the lands. Well, if they're good with their religion bullshit. Some, some of these countries are bad at converting people. Then it's just a pain in the butt. Alright, then you guys just go chill. And I will clean up with this army. Oh, Man Mantese declared independence. Very cool. They got one, one territory, Antalya. Good for you, Mantese. Ooh, I have another colonist. Uh, 
Yeah, I want that one. It's got salt. Salt is worth something. You engage somebody. Cool. Kill them. You're building a boat, and you're building a dude, but it won't matter. Um, come sit here and... Can you not move? There, go sit here. Mongo Conet, okay. Um, you guys even have an army? Mongol revolutionaries own that province. Uh, I guess I can start colonizing you guys too, whatever. Uh, yeah. Luigi, whatever. Siege it. God, that's so fast, it's ridiculous. I, yes, I built a boat. Good. Um, boat, come up here. Yeah, we're rejecting peace offers for now. Deal with it. Got grain in Namkala. Okay. Ah, we can siege again. Now go here. Okay, you guys are going to go there, and then there, and then there, and then there, and then there. Start patrolling. You guys, I guess you're going to go over here. Damn it, here come the revolts. Did not take long, did it? Guys, yeah, 21st of October. Okay, then you go here. Reason. So yeah, what's going on with this uh, this fight over here? Burgundy took something in Milan. Burgundy took all of Württemberg. <laughs> Is Bavaria in the war? No, they're not. Give Bavaria some money. They could use the love. You need to give Mecklenburg some money. Croatia, don't care. Yeah, it's kind of weird seeing Montenegro this big and Poland sticking around. Sil Look at Silesia. Silesia's got four territories. That's crazy. And the, Europe is just so messed up right now. Even Prussia. Prussia has Lincoln. Hello, Prussia. That is so messed up. Europe is a mess. You guys need to hurry up and get there. If I can end this war with Sean, this is dumb. Can't I just end this war? White Peace, they would accept. Uh, okay. White Peace, you guys out. You guys go back to Jingmen. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, we landed in Tanutuba. Cool. Siege it. Fleet arrived, that's nice. We suck at sieging, so we didn't get it. Oh, we might get it. Oh, we got it. Yay! Good for us. Oh yeah, China took Cyan, Noyan, and Ordos from uh, Mongol Khanate. I don't know how they did, because they did it in a peace deal. They accepted the peace deal rather than having to colonize it. And I don't understand how these... God damn it, they're going to take my fucking colony. Alright, I'll peace you out just so you don't dick around with my colony. Give me money. Alright, now you guys go back to Quarism. Is that there? Yep. Alright, they're pieced out. Do do do. Gonna make Korea Hindu. Alright, you guys landed up there. Good for you. You guys go fall. Uh, wait the end of the month. Cool. Yep, keep going to Altai. Morocco and Algiers, don't care. Siege. 
go here. Actually, what's our war score? 79. Oops. Can I get you to convert? Yep. And give me these two. No. I need another 9%. Alright. Oh, that's a good question. Which of these territories is worth 9%? Yeah, well, it won't tell me until I capture them. Fine. Oh, we succeeded in Guam. Cool. When's my next boat going to be done? 215 days, because I'll need a boat to patrol over there. Now, here's a question. Since Guam is considered all three of these islands, and two of the islands are in the Yap Islands, one of them is in Tinian Sea, do I need to patrol Tinian Sea with a boat, or will pirates not spawn up there? Because the port is down here in Yap. I'm assuming you don't have to uh, go up there because the port's in Yap. I'm guessing here. Alright, you guys ready? Wait a month. And uh, siege it. Alright, now what do we have? 91. Is that enough? I want convert to Hindu and give me that and that. Yes, they will accept. Alright, cool. Can we do anything else? No. And you don't have any money. Oh yeah, you do. Give me some money. They'll take they'll give money to you. Cool. Alright, well, there's the deal. We get two territories, both of them are very profitable. And Korea has to convert to Hindu. Very cool. Ooh, look at that money. Love it. Vault risk, 9%. So I will sit... What can you hold? You can hold 32 people. I think I could sit an army there. I could, I'll sit a sieging army there. Hainan siege, you are now going to be Haichi. Or Haichi siege. And the rest of you clowns, go back down to Jiola. Actually, I'll move you over to Chong Gyeong Sang. Alright, fleet can just stay up there, really. Don't need you anywhere else. You guys are patrolling, everything's being patrolled, buildings and boats. Alright, I will get back when there is something else happening, because now I'm going to spend some time burning infamy and slowly colonizing this Oriad Horde crap. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Here you might want to just, uh, Watch what's going on in Europe while I'm burning off this uh, infamy. Uh, Burgundy pushed into Milan pretty good. It looked like Milan was going to surrender, but then two of the states were relieved, so they're probably going to fight on. And Poland has. Oh, Altai's almost done. Uh huh. Poland has pushed into northern Burgundy here, here, and here. And they've relieved a siege in Württemberg, so it looks like Poland's gonna start kicking some Burgundian ass. Well, then I gotta send a colonist to here, or do I want it in Guam? I kind of want it in Guam. Just in case. Actually, no, Guam's. Nah, Guam's probably fine, but I do need my navy up there. Let's go chill. Uh, so, yeah, which territory do I want next? Can't do that one. I. Yeah, I'll do that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Dum de dum. Alright, back to war in Europe. Oh. Venice joined the war. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not good for Burgundy. Well, since we have a causes belly against Burgundy to take this territory, and since Burgundy's losing this war pretty badly, maybe that would be a good opportunity now, because, I mean, these are just colonies. They have no defense here. Yeah, why not? Let's go to war with Burgundy. We're their allies anyway. I need to insult them a bit. Champagne, Trier, Bar... 
Poland will protect them. See, that may be a problem because Poland's at war with them. Curious if that will even work. Hello, transports. Let's find out. My doge, in order to further our goal, we decided that the troops of Poland should be able Oh, right, duh, I forgot. Korea insulted me for some reason. So let's start insulting Burgundy. Send an insult. You guys get on the damn boat. Revolt in Altashar. Okay. Yeah, Burgundy's still losing, but the war's not over. You guys want access, that's fine. Alright, you guys, come on down. I guess if my infamy drops enough, I'll just take both. Well, they're colonies, right? So the infamy won't be too bad. Yeah, should be fine. Wu declared war on Ming. Ooh. That will be fun to watch. That will be fun to watch. Manchu are at war with Wang, with, with Ming. Wow, there's a big war in Europe and a big war in uh, over here in China. Wow, China looks so nasty now. Xia and Wu got spat out. Most of Southeast... Oh yeah, they, they annexed Khmer, by the way. That's the second time they've taken over those two territories. We'll have to make them spit them out again. Yeah, man, this looks so bad in here. Particularists? No, the peasants. Or Korea. Well, it'll be fun to watch. Wurttemberg and Switzerland. Ooh. Ooh, Switzerland annexed Wurttemberg, these territories. Wow. Well, we're at negative 30 with them, whatever. Not like they have any uh, ports or anything. Ooh, colonist, colonist! Uh. Um, yeah. Savoy, don't care. You guys there yet? Oh, Wu, Wu called us into the war. Oops. Sorry, Wu. Really, I don't care, though. Where's my damn boats? There they are. Wow, there's lots of wars going on. Holy crap. More cores. Ooh, we discovered absolutely nothing. That's great. Hurry up and get there, please. Cool. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it, 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 piss shit, damn. God damn it. Their war ended the day my boats arrived. Literally the same freaking day. So now, because they're at peace, there is a decent chance that Poland will join this war when I declare war. Oh, I forgot to insult them again. Oops, I'll have to wait a month anyway there. Yay, buildings are done. I need to build more buildings. Can I build level 1 fort? No. Okay, build some docks. Eighth of February. Oh, God damn it. Revolts. Always with the revolts. Six, seven, eight, nine, pause, declare war, reconquest. Now, here's the question is, will anyone join? Japan says they will, but Scotland says maybe. So I will declare war, oh, oh, revolt time, of course. And send you guys in. 
can get this while it's still it's still a colony. It's only barely a colony. But yeah, now the question is, will Poland come to defend them? Because if they do, this could be a pain in the butt. That could bring all of Europe against us in a big war, which I do not want. Very, very much do not want. And the let's uh, call Japan, just for shits and giggles. Love you, Japan. Okay, Champagne joined, Trier joined, High Knot joined, Japan joined, and Bar joined. So that's just... Burgundy's still the leader, that's fine. I can just do a little mainland invasion of Burgundy. Where's my tra Is that my transport fleet? That's my transport fleet. My main fleet is up here. You guys... Undock. I'll pick up Haishi Siege. That's nice, go there. Revolt in Malwa. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! 18 in Malwa, 4 in Ver Wow! Yeah, I'll take that. Wow, that was a lot. Cool. Very nice, and that one's almost done being a colony. Alright, you guys arrived, that's cool. Switzerland for War in Bavaria. So we have a 0% war score, but the great thing is Poland did not join the war. So now what I'm going to do is invade Burgundy. What would be the first... well, maybe we don't even need to invade. Maybe we'll just sit our fleet down here and dare them to come get us. If I bring my fleet over here with all my big ships, I don't think they have anything close to that. Burgundy. No, they've only got 40 ships total, so yeah, no. I will do that then. I will bring my transports home to here, because I have a lot of ships here. Or I mean a lot of people here. And we'll see what happens. Oh, here we go. Sweden declared war on Burgundy. Nice. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So things are heating up. Okay, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. So maybe they'll just want peace after this. I mean, I don't really want any of their lands up here. Not yet. I would love to take Antwerp. Oh, that's right. Poland took Antwerp. <laughs> and that wonderful trade center there. So where are you guys trading out? You're trading out of Burgundy. Oh, okay. I forgot they made their own little trade center there. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Ferrara? Yeah, Ferrara. So Europe's just going to shit. That's cool. Are we taking care of this crap? We are. How about this? Yeah, just slowly. Um, give you a speedy general. I don't remember how much infamy you get for seizing a colony. It's been a while since I've done that. Self-sustaining, very cool. Discovered a bunch of nothing. Lovely. Oh, we didn't kill him. Really? They're going to Bukhara. So am I. Uh, let me give you a general. There you go. Maybe you'll kill him now. Cool. Seize colony. Alright, so we're at 8.7. Let's we go up to 9. So only 0.3 to seize a colony. That's kind of neat. That's like very, very little. Are any of these colonies? No. 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 Man, they're just barely... They barely made the regular province level. Ah, oh, that's a colony. Maybe it'd be worthwhile to take some of this crap. You know, just for the hell of it. That one's not a colony. Not a colony. Oh, these are colonies. That one's not. This one is. I don't know. To be honest, I don't want to, like, take over the whole world. I mean, we're doing pretty good here in Asia, you know? And if I went over there, I'd have to keep an army over there, and I don't really want to. I already have an army here in Africa. I may have to have a second army just because we've spread out so freaking much. So let's see if they want peace now that we're at a oh, whopping zero war score. They would not. Can we surrender to you? 
No. Can we give you money? No. Okay, so you actually want me... Where's my... Where's my freaking navy? Uh... Drawing a blank. Where did I put my navy? I knew I had some ships over here, but where did they go? I sent some here, but they haven't made it yet. Um... Where's my navy? Uh, I know how to fix this. Navies. Bingo. Whoa! Uh, transports. There you are. Navy. Fleet? Fleet is over here. Oh, that's right. You picked up another army. Very cool. Alright, Fleet. You are going... Well, first off... Well, don't take too much damage, but yeah. Go that way, whatever. Come up here, and we're going to invade. Just a little bit. We're not going to invade, like, you know, wholeheartedly. But we'll, we'll half-heartedly invade. And, uh... Transports can do the same thing. Pick up this army. Oh, that's right. I have a level 1 fort to build. Derp. There we go. And I have a colonist. We want our colonists to go... There. Do, do, do. Where's my transports? Ah, oh, general died. Don't care. You need a general. Yes, you do. Uh, where's a good general? There's one. You don't need that guy. Sure. But you do. Where's another good general? Ah, whatever. Don't need peace from Hoya Horde. Don't need to see my navies anymore. It's nice. It's nice. Timurid Nationalists. Oh, we killed them finally. Good. Oh, that's the general that died. Alright, you guys landed. Good, go. You didn't kill them. Oh, but at least they're going to Quarazon. Um, still haven't finished any more boats. I need more boats. Get on the damn ship. Quality wool. Another general's dead. Is that your general? It was your general. Oh, God. Damn it. I want four shock general. Where is he? He is here. You don't need him. I need him in Africa. Four shock. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We gained core province. And we discovered... So can we reach any of that crap? Probably not. No. It's still all red. We can't even reach Hawaii. Lol. Alright, get on the boat. Get on the boat. First army. Ah, that's right. You guys totally group up. Alright, time to go. I don't see any Burgundian navies or anything over here. Whose land is that? That's England. That's... Whatever, Aragon. Alright, come here. Improvements in naval technology. Is that worth it? I guess. I mean, my... Sure, whatever. Oh! Manchu, peace with Ming, white peace. Damn, what's going on with that war? The Wu took one territory and Manchu got pieced out. Huh. What's going on with the other war? Oh, it's zero. Oh, this one. It's still at zero. Oh, okay, what's going on with the Chinese one? Where is it? Here it is. Four. So, one province is four. Alright. Self-sustaining team war, very nice. That means you need a fort. And I have a new colonist.
she had declared war on me. Huh. Everyone's declaring war on me. That's awesome. Even the Mongols took a little territory. Look at that. Poor Ming. Alright, you guys landed back there. Good. Get rid of your general. Still no sign of any uh, Burgundian fleet. Oh, there's a fleet. Damn it, they're gone already. Oh, I saw a fleet that went this way. Ah, damn it. What's our war exhaustion? 6.7. Good god. Hurry up and end this damn war. Can I get peace yet? They would. Alright. Oh, phone call. Oh, those are the best phone calls. When do you use the word farther and when do you use the word further? Oh my god. Okay, so the war with Burgundy's over. They finally got white peace. The moment we landed, the moment we're about to land on their doorstep, they wanted white peace. That's perfectly fine by me. I can send my fleet back home. You guys go dump those dorks back in. Haichi, or however you say that, and you guys, which army is that? It's the Iraq army. Then go back to Iraq and, and sit there. And, oh, Burgundy got peace with us and with Tyrone. Okay, well, I want to see what happens over here. I'm kind of curious how this will end. National decline, don't care. Engaged in Bursch, they're dead. National decline, don't care. Ooh, we have to pay people. Pay people money. Venice, do you need money? Nope. Syria? Nope. Portugal? Poland? Poland needs money. They're getting poor. Mamluks? Nope. You need money. Uh, Milan? Yep. Naples? Castile? Scotland? I love Scotland. Uh, they've they've joined us in every freaking war. It's awesome. Well, when when we when it's been likely that they would join, I've asked them and they have. Anyway, back to what's going on over here. Election. Uh, how good is our current dude? He's okay. I'll get ask for the better better bureaucrat. Come on, cross your fingers. Self-sustaining, core province election. Eh, he's not terrible. I can do the little coastal things now. Can I do coastals up here, or is that just a China thing? I guess it's just a China thing. Interesting. Well, it looks like China's going to lose this war with Manchu, Shia, and the Wu. I mean, they're just they're just getting trashed. Poor guys. Kind of feel bad for China. Ah, more revolts. We're not at war. Well, I guess we are with the Orya Horde, huh? Okay, well, this will come under control. Like, it'll hit to like 7 or 8. And then it'll start dropping back down because I'm not fighting anyone anymore, so there's not going to be any more war exhaustion. Oh, the Ming got a territory, and the Wu got another territory. General died. Mongols got another territory. Slaves, that's nice. Self sustaining colonies, that's nice. Another self-sustaining colony. Another core province. Should build some of those forts, huh? Level 1 fort. And I should up the level 2s to level 3s, the ones that border uh, Europe. But yeah, I mean, there was like a big huge war in Europe, and now there's a big huge war here in Asia. For once, we're not the ones who started any of it. Converted some people, very cool. Ooh, new colonist. Ooh, someone was annexed. Cherokee an annexed by Achillea. Oh wow, look at look at that. You guys need some money. I haven't paid you in a while. Castile's getting big. They're both probably gonna fight the Shawnee. Burgundy. Wow, Burgundy has a lot of North America. Look at that. Good job, Burgundy. And Aragon took over most of Mexico. Pay you guys some more money. Colonist, where should you go? 
Um, yeah, I guess go there. I want to get out of this war with Ori Horde as fast as possible. We're still going up, or is it going down? Still going up, just slowly. Spread of Discoveries. Yep, more of North America. So they took over the Hurons, or Mohawks, or whoever the hell was in charge at the time. Still no more islands to colonize? No. I want to colonize Hawaii so bad. Come on, woo, kick some kick some Ming ass. Oop, Scotland asked for a war. <laughs> yeah, they went to war with England. They always go to war with England. So peace, white peace, yep. I'm not gonna help them. They don't need help. England is tiny. Gonna bother with level threes yet? I'll just wait. I want to see what happens here. Yeah, we were still kicking ass. Province of Zungaria defected to us. Very cool. So now we can colonize a little further in. Manchu declared war on Mongol Khanate. Uh, why would you do that? They're doing it without a cause's belly, so that means they're losing... Yeah, they lost two stability just to declare war. That's so silly. Fort and Timor is finished. Coast of Colombia. Very cool. Oh, new colonist. Go here. Mogulistan's core, very cool. Another general's dead, who cares? Grain. Nobody likes grain. Oop. Gotta build some shit. You guys finished the war already. What's the score? Seventeen. That's not a big score. We can enables Gale Galeas. Whatever the hell that is. Medical profession. Yeah, population growth. A room key, very cool. Woo's just kicking ass. It's up to 21 now. Yeah, it's going to take forever for them to get anything good out of it, isn't it? There we go. Renounce their claims on blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's it? That's all they did when they made them renounce claims on the territory? Wow. Oh, Shia took the province. Good for you, Shia. I forgot Shia was even in the damn war. And it looks like Tibetan nationalists. Yep, Tibet's definitely going to reform because the Ming are too busy. Mongol patriots. Yeah, so Ming's just toast right now. They're getting owned. Anyway, yep, good place to end the video. It's been, oh, we're way over on time right now. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we had a very quick war with Burgundy just to take their two colonies here in Africa. And... It's about all we did. We dicked around in uh, Southeast Asia a bit, and I've been colonizing. Hopefully there'll be more exciting stuff going on next time. I do want to get into a war with uh, some of these powers over here. I want to take out some European powers. Venice is a good first target. And uh, what's our tech? Our tech's at 25, and I'm putting as much in as I can into land right now. So we're catching up to them. They're only at 25, so we could, e we could easily go for them if we wanted to. And I think we will. We just have to, uh, I guess we could do a liberation cause this belly. That way we can just take one or two and make them spit out Georgia or something like that. 
all right anyway i will see you guys next time thanks for watching